As soon or later, all you're gonna die. There will be no one single Armenian to leave. Thanks for uh, agreeing for interview. I know you were feeling bad today. Sorry yeah, a little that. bit under the weather because I had this vaccine, not, not COVID, but I had another. Works. <laughs> uh, and is that the walls? Is that like the it's intentionally? My, no, it's, it's my brother's apartment. Where, <laughs> while I'm in here, I like, it's his office. So it's his design. <laughs> I got it. You it's designed that way. Place if, yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, it's yeah. nice to meet you. Same. Yeah. Congratulations on uh, Aurora Sunrise. It's... Thank you so much. I was uh, very happy to have been introduced to the film. I mean, it's uh, not only is it a bit of a, it's just a, a really ambitious and su I think you succeeded in your ambitions, but also it's an important film. It's an important story. It needs, people need to know about this story right i know that you yes i guess i should say we we started <laughs> i should mention that i sometimes just start without saying anything anyway um but you uh came across in your research you were trying to what were you trying to find originally you were you i know you came across aurora story among others right in the in an uh oral archive Mm -hmm. at the at a, at a library uh right a, or uh, institute almost, the, almost. this institute yeah it's sort of an institute who was recording uh testimonies of genocide survivors right and i was doing research together with them for another film uh oh, I see. yeah and then uh, i knew about aurora but not in that details then they give me her testimony which was more than five hours mm -hmm. and amazing uh so a uh, story immediately captured my attention and it was, as you said, it was so strong and interesting and unique. And I had such a great storyteller in the face of Aurora herself. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is when I decided that this should turn into the feature lens film. I should have clarified at the beginning. Uh, do I pronounce your name? Ina Sahakian? Ina Sahakian. 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 Yeah, the, yeah, the same way as it's spelled, so nothing nothing okay. tricky in it <laughs> it's most of this country that we that we are in right now will get your name absolutely <laughs> wrong and butcher it <laughs> i'm sure you've already they can't even say your first name so but it's ina right yes yeah mm -hmm. um well what was it uh you did you think oh this would make a great film i mean did you just think her story was you know, cause it was because it's it's so, she did have an epic life. I mean, uh, you know, this is a woman who, against all odds, escaped gen the genocide, the, the Turkish genocide of Armenians, um, uh, and somehow she was sold into like 
sexual slavery, essentially, right? She was stolen from her family, was her family was killed. And somehow, miraculously, she was able to escape the clutches of these uh, oppressors and that she was uh, owned by temporarily. And she mm-hmm. somehow happened to make her way out of there and all the way to America's shores. <laughs> and then from there, it just happened to be introduced to um, a Hollywood producer. Is that how it mm-hmm. were at, a, at at some sort of event that she, I mean, I'm doing shorthand. So you feel yeah. free to interrupt any time because. Okay. Please. So uh, when she reached to U.S., uh, she had uh, on, her only brother who moved to U.S. much earlier than the genocide started. So she was going to search for him. Yes. So she started search for him and she put a short advert into the newspapers uh-huh. that I arrived from Armenia, like uh, escaped the massacres and I'm looking for my brother. And the article uh, was in like catch attention of a journalist who started to write about Aurora. Uh, and uh, afterwards, uh, uh, like it was 14 piece uh, newspaper releases every time one like big chapter about her life. Mm-hmm. And then Hollywood picked up this story for the uh, production of the film. So initially it, it was published in the newspapers, then it turned into the book. Then it turned into the film and all that in less than two years. Like Amazing, right? She, yeah. Yeah. Um, she was also huge on the internet, I understand, on social media. <laughs> she was. She was, by the way. Uh, back then it was called newspapers. <laughs> and if you search, <laughs> if you search in uh, now already digitalized um, uh, media of like that time mm-hmm. uh, on Library of Congress website. It's so many articles, so many interviews with her about the film. I don't know examples of what happened with her. So it was basically the same social media, but yeah, no, she yeah, she went viral. It's very true. Cause she she traveled the country with the film. She lectured. I mean, you know, in mm-hmm. fact, they did something that was really some I you know, where at a certain point where she decided to stop because she was very distraught, exhausted. She was in, she never hadn't found her, her brother who she was uh, so, um, you know, committed to finding. And yet she had no success with finding him and she got burnt out. And then they, the producers decided to continue without her and they hired someone to replace her. To, and she had no idea of this, even that her success or story succeed, continued to succeed. And, um, uh, but so it's an amazing story and you have, a, it's a, even though the majority of your film, again, it's called Aurora's Sunrise is a, uh, a animated film. However, it is essentially a hybrid film because you mm-hmm. also do have these archive interviews with Aurora, which are really sensational to hear. She's just so, um, you know, not always the most, she, you know, English is still her second language, but she's able to uh, uh, still communicate tremendous feeling. And, um, you know, as she talks about, you know, her experiences uh, and then, and, you know, her, yeah, I don't want to give away too much. <laughs> and then the third component is um, this film that that she was in. There's actually some exist, even though we you thought it was, or people had thought it was lost people. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was this presumed to be lost, the film. But, it, but, you, but, it, but 18 minutes were recovered. Mm-hmm. And they are, most of that is in the film as well. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's really this amazing. So you mm-hmm. were, you must have really worked with some edit i mean who's your editor i mean that it's just, and, who, really- and your animator i mean <laughs> it's a, such a tremendous project for a, you know <laughs> that's why we have ending credits for more than six minutes uh, torturing everyone <laughs> in the cinema because uh actually yeah. the film is hybrid so we had all different departments so we do have documentary research department restoration have, right the restoration, restoration of that. we do have uh, fiction filming because per based uh to give the reference for animators we did mm-hmm. film 
uh, animated scenes with the actors uh, over the green screen. We do have full animation department and all is this divided in between three countries. So yeah. it's, Which countries? Uh, no, Armenia, of Armenia. course, uh, the, the main production country, Germany and Lithuania. Germany. And what was the third one? Lithuania. Lithuania, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Right. so right. animation part, uh, as you mentioned, it's a... Uh, it's the uh, creative collaboration between Armenian and Lithuanian artists. Um, the lead department is coming from Armenia, uh, main art direction with a great artist, young artist, Tigran Arakelian. And uh, the illustration part and the main animation part is coming from Lithuania with great artists as Gediminas, Kyrgios, uh, and others. And editing, uh, uh, I was very lucky to work one of best editors, uh, director himself uh, in Armenia, Ruben Vazarian. So I had really, really great big team, big well, backup team. And uh, I always say that films are collective art <laughs> and they are. you can't yeah. do anything alone. So no, whatever right. you see is a collaboration of a lot of deep body people. Yeah, and uh, absolutely it's collective. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. this, this film shows uh, is a great example of just how much how much effort and how uh, you know went into from um, so many people, um, and and was there financing um, available to you from Armenia or where where was I mean how did you pay for such a an enormous uh, crew? <laughs> uh, the film production took in general from the idea till the completion about seven years and about three years okay. of that was the fund. Uh, financing and research. So financing is very, very hard topic nowadays in countries like Armenia. We do have film fund and we do have our film fund support, but it's okay. very limited amount. So the rest came from the co-production countries. We have support from Zorian Institute and uh, all the one of the important sources was Yevrimash. I don't know if you are familiar with it. No. Yevrimash is a uh, is a co-production fund of Council of Europe specifically uh, created uh, to support co-production between different European countries. Okay. So yeah, it's quite prestigious fund and very hard to get, but we get also support from them. So all these small pieces of puzzle put together the financing, which is still much lower than any similar film in Europe or US. Sure. Um, well, you don't, yeah, <laughs> well, you don't, you know, they, well, you don't need, uh, I guess, you know, American celebrities in your cast. Um, that saves a little bit, I guess. Um, but that would help, but we don't have them. <laughs> next time, you know. Uh, but you um, also, I imagine, if they, if anybody wants to invest in an important story that is needs to be told, you know, Aurora's is 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 going to be a great example. I mean, it was only in the last um, seven eight years where even America formally recognized the Armenian genocide. Isn't that so? It's, it's not, it's even uh, late. It, it was in, I think, 2021. Oh, that uh, reason? Biden, yeah, Biden. Oh, it. Biden did it. Okay, yes. well, I knew it was a Democrat. I just thought it might have been Obama. <laughs> no, no. It that's, was, that's really yeah. pathetic. Yeah, it was during the production. I even changed the title because initially it was <laughs> non American, non US or Turkey recognized, but then <laughs> ending credit while we were still in production, US recognized. So I changed ending credits. So now, like, US is among recognized countries. And oh, right. It, you included all Turkey. the countries. Yeah. yeah. At the end credits, I have the basically one not uh, like 33 countries up to date recognize Armenian genocide, but Turkey is still denying this fact. Yeah. When, when about did America and Turkey start getting chummy? Start getting what? Sorry. Chummy. Chums, friends, like when did they start? Like, oh, some, you know, uh, because think... that's when that's when really things, you know, I mean, it was just like another really serious level of of squelching this this part of history. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it started after the uh, first world war, a bit after uh, the war was ended, after basically Wilson uh, left the politics, the general uh, political wave of US changed. And it was treaty, if I'm not wrong, wrong uh, uh, signed between Turkey uh, and the US in 
1927 mm. uh, so business treaty and basically what happened uh after during the first world war turkey was uh oh, 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 like the yeah this is a bit <laughs> different topic but osmanic uh, empire was destroyed basically so it was uh like ruins of different countries there right, and right. that time uh, us tried to support armenia and have a mandate for armenia wilsonian mandate for armenia but it didn't happen and uh, turkey raised again with the support of ataturk after the ataturk so turkey republic already was established and after that they become really partnering with the us yeah uh, a dark day for I'm sure for Armenian survivors <laughs> and families of survivors. Um, and it's such a small country. There's only about three million people in, in currently. In, in, currently, right? yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh yeah, even Aurora herself says, you know, had America come, gotten behind Armenia and, and you know decided to commit to being behind there as a strong voice against genocide <laughs> like like you need to really it's not very controversial to me but uh it might have it might have helped prevent world war the holocaust the the german holocaust because um right even uh, she she makes a point of saying that because um the success the turks had kind of paved the way for the nazis to some degree i'm sure you know so what an important story to tell and as it turns out this film, Aurora's uh, Aurora's Sunrise, is the official entry, yeah. Armenian entry, for best film, best foreign film at the Oscars. Mm -hmm. So, what 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 was that process like for you? What what? Uh, how did that? How did how does that happen? How do you oh, make that happen? Is there much competition? Uh, not much because being small country, we do not have every year many new films. <laughs> But I don't. Uh, is, is, does Armenia typically have a an entry film every year? Or? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, maybe a couple of years due to economic, political, war situation. Sure, sure, sure. Needs, but generally, but speaking, usually, yeah. generally speaking, we do have. Uh, so it's a competition in a local level. You apply with your film. We have our academy members, Armenian academy members, okay, uh, who are voting for the films. So. Uh, we basically pass through this process and get the most vot votings from our local academy members. Uh, but this is something new for me as a director, and uh, I was not expecting that the uh, award campaign will be so difficult and complicated. <laughs> and, uh, but we are trying to do our best with our limited resources uh, mm -hmm. that the yeah. film uh will be watched and uh, raise attention of the of yeah right the you, have to get everybody, you have to get the american members of the academy to uh, actually watch the film and it's i mean you know it's it's a it's a, an upsetting story it's one of also resilience and of uh but yeah. it's also a story of a lost Hollywood movie of a, That's a good woman point. fighting. A woman That's a good point. That's another reason her. why I, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And it's another reason why I wanted to talk to you because <laughs> it's a lost Hollywood film that's been recovered to some degree and restored essentially what's that bit was uncovered. So that's another whole layer. And I'm, I'm, I, you know, I love that kind of story, you know. So, mm -hmm. and there's really some wonderful moments and the animation is spectacular. And the scene, you know, the, the archive with, with Aurora is um, very compelling. So, you know, I'm, if I, I'm going to become a member so I can vote for you. you know? <laughs> I wish you, I think has Armenia, has it ever won? Do you know? No, no. no okay. No, no. Fingers Sadly, crossed. No. Anybody uh, within this, let's, let's, let's first be shortlisted. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> one we'll step at a time rest. one step yes. at a time yeah right the sh right because okay. it's only how many films did they tell uh, you it's about 90 submissions and 15 gonna be shortlisted 15 will be nominated no okay. will be shortlisted five oh, shortlisted will be nominated. and then five will be uh, it's just two two that's <laughs> Well, I'm rooting for you, as I said. So thank you so much. You know, we'll play, and I'll play a uh, the trailer 
at the front at the beginning of this. So That's great. people That's get a, great. a real sense of what you've done, this mm -hmm. masterpiece you've made. And regardless of what happens at the Oscars, it's an enormous success. Mm -hmm. And um, congratulations on that. And I, I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know where you go from here. Maybe a musical comedy would be a right. <laughs> <film. laughs> uh, for my next film, you mean? Yeah. Uh, you almost guessed, I'm doing a documentary about uh, elderly theater, which is really amazing. And, about uh, who or what? Elderly theater. The theater, uh, the uh, performance played yes. by old people in Armenia in elderly house in nursing oh. home. Oh, and oh, <laughs> wonderful. Okay. Wow. Uh, well. Yeah, it's totally different, but it's very. <laughs> but that's the beauty uh, of being. Yeah. Yeah. Often. Well, that's the beauty of being. A, that's the wonderful part of being a storyteller is you. You can do that, and um, you should <laughs> do that. It's. It's. You have to. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, but for me, the film. Uh, this film is the most important in my career because uh, it's not only about uh, Armenian genocide, but it's about the strength of a girl who can change uh, the reality, uh, mm -hmm. even being in the most horrific uh, right. conditions, you know, she, she never obeys and she always moved forward and she never lost her humanity, like in all yeah. stages, even in uh, like Hollywood. And it, at the same time, it gives me like I think it gives the viewer the opportunity to understand the whole epoch uh, of, of her time, you know, so not only what was happening in our region in Near East with the war, but also like uh, she passed through all the big historical events, she even been in the uh, revol revolution in Russia, she was in Amnesty Day in New York when it was happening, she was in uh, early uh, steps of Hollywood, so <laughs> kind of really epic uh, and uh, interesting life of, uh, uh, and when you think that she was just a teenager back then. You no, know, it's, 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 it's remarkable. It's a remarkable yeah. story. Yeah, and you bring it fully to life. So Ina uh, Sahaikian is the director of Aurora's Sunrise, the official uh, entry um, for the country of Armenia into for best film, foreign film. I guess they'll just call it best film, yeah. maybe. They changed it to foreign film. It was foreign film. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not foreign in Armenia. So. <laughs> uh, anyway, all the luck. I'll be rooting for you, as I said. Thank you so much. Fingers Thank crossed. Magic sometimes happens, right? We should believe at least. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Right. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Have a good night. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Thank <music> you.